All right, so thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for taking time. This is Village Boy, and uh, you know, thank you so much for supporting this platform, Village Boy YouTube channel. And today we are streaming live on this stream yard. And today we are here to share one of the most insightful, wonderful uh, story of one young lady. Uh, I mean, she has a very inspiring story to share with us, and also she's going to be sharing business stuff with us. So make time and watch the video till the end we'll be adding her pretty shortly and she's going to introduce herself tell us what she does and a whole many things a lot of things that she's going to be sharing so let's try it let's add it. okay all right so agnes uh we are super excited having you here you're welcome oh thank you village boy ah uh, how are you doing Oh, by the grace of God, I'm fine. A new place. Yeah, I'm also doing very fantastic. We are super excited having you on this platform. You know, you are a great woman, so we are honored to have you here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, someone may ask, "Why are we speaking to you? Why, why are you speaking from right now as we speak currently?" Like. Okay, um, I'm currently at a Jusu, a place called Duna, so that's where I stay. A Jusu Duna, so it's a suburb of a Yes, that's where I stay. Mm. In Ashanti region, right? Yes, yeah, in Ashanti region. Ashanti region, you say Americans. <laughs> yes, yeah, and a Jusu is even popular. Because of your sound was where Jusso is popular. Oh really? Yeah, Jusso is very popular. I I see. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Okay, so Agnes, fast forward, let's kick start with the whole thing and um I mean get to know stuff about you. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Can you introduce yourself to us now? Okay. Um I'm very courageous. And failure is not my friend. And I, I try every possible best to make everybody around me, um, wherever I go, there will be something called peace. So I'm 24 years of age. Mm. And I'm a student as well at Wesley College of Education. I'm level 400. I'll be completing this year. And I sell granite cakes. Yes, and besides, I'm, I'm a Sunday school teacher as well. Um, I motivate. Wow. Um, yes, I motivate. Yes, yes. So, and the, the journey wow. hasn't this is, this is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, every, every morning, I, I try to get motivational words for my customers, especially on um TikTok, yes i've been sent i have been sending motivational words there yes and i don't give up as mm. i said failure is not my friend um i'm coming from a, a family a family of four i'm the youngest yes i'm the youngest of my parents i'm the youngest and i have two brothers two sisters including me so in total we are four in number wow that is so amazing so yeah. amazing and congratulations to you for achieving this feat you know it's, it's it's not easy as a lady to strive and get to where you are today yeah, yeah thank you thank you hmm. you know let's let's get to know you more even though you've introduced yourself but then um we, over the uh, months, we've been seeing pictures, videos about you with Nanati. Nanati, everyone's known Nanati. And so we just want to find out how did it even happen? How do you get to know Nanati and what actually happened? If you can brief us on that, then we kickstart with the whole thing, your business. Okay, so aside my going to school, I saw granite cakes at Tech Junction. At first, I used to be walking mm. walking around with the granite cakes at a uh, juice and um, selling mm. some at um 
KJTR market, and sometimes I might have been se selling some in school, selling some to my lecturers, and so on. So when when we, we were in, uh, we, we had a vacation for some time because our lecturers on, were on strike. So there was a time that uh, I went to take and when I went there, I was selling as usual. So I, I was there and I sent one woman who is with me. She sell Banchia Kekru. So I sent her to buy poly bag for me. And I told her that as for today, dear, I'm blessed. So I was there and, and I saw Nanati. And actually, I know Nanati from Abna Manoki Kemen because he has been moving with Abna. So I used to hear mm. his name. Hi, so and as he took a picture with me, so I was there, and one customer came and was like, I give um, Nanati is saying around um, six in the evening, nobody should call you. And I was like, Who is Nanati? And how did you know Nanati? And I was like, Check on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So when, when I, I checked on Facebook, the lights was many, and people were coming to buy the granite cakes. In fact, I was marveled. So in the following mm. day, the following day, um, I sent a message to Nanati on Facebook that he should send me um, his number so that I will send something to give it to his followers, one of his followers. So he sent me okay. his number, yes, and and was like, oh, what do you do? And the conversation started. I was like, I'm a student, but I saw the granite cakes as well. So everything started mm -hmm. from there. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. This is lovely. This is yeah. lovely. And I love that. I love the fact that uh, you have really reverted some kind of appreciation as to what yeah. Nanati did for you. That picture yeah. you posted on social media. It's yes. you know gratitude is a must, and yes. uh, I love I love that energy and vibe. All right. So now selling selling in cat cakes. I don't know the pronunciation is kind of you know we we'll call it cat cake cat cake. I don't know. And cat here and cat here cake yeah. So in cat cake. And cat here cake. Okay okay okay. Yeah. We'll get to know how. Mm. Okay, okay. So now sell, selling in Katikate to your lecturers and your friends, I mean, Jenny has not been easy. What, yeah, what came to been. your mind before starting this whole business? Uh, how did you start it? Is it in a family? Is it a family business that you are okay, you taking actually, advantage? Okay, actually, uh, uh, so we mom, want to know. Okay, my mom know how to do the Katikate, and I never stayed with my mom, so I was staying with one of my sisters at Swami. It was where um, I went to school and did everything there. So in 2019, I mm. moved to um, Egyptian to come and stay with my mom. So when I came, one of my one of the conversation with my mom, he was like, I won't get money to um, help you further your education. I was like, oh, no problem. But so far as you can do the Nkatiki, let me take advantage of it. So I started selling the Nkati cake at KJTR. There is a place called Obiba JK. It's a store, Obiba JK store. Like when you were young, we, we used to have a song, Obiba JK for all night or something like that. So the man mm -hmm. has a stores at KJTR. So I used to sell in front of his um, stores. Then I gathered money, then I went to school. So when I went to school, I used to come and do bus conducting, work at the local restaurant to get that money hey. to pay my school fees. Oh, yes. Bus conducting? So, yes, I have done bus conducting before. You are a lady and you are doing bus conducting? Yes. Wow. Oh, the, the, this... the, 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 spirit, <laughs> the spirit that is in a, a man, that's, that same spirit is in a woman. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing. Yes. Interesting story from you. Mm. Yeah. So I, I, I was doing bus conducting. And one of the days when I was doing the, I was working at one of the Choba 
restaurant my brother came was like agi it will never be like this but at, at that job but that's for the somewhere 2023 i was being paid 20 cities a day 20 cities and i'll go in the morning what, 20 five, cities a six. day yes yes and the work when you measure it with my income it doesn't tell you at all it doesn't tell you from what time I'll to what time go, yeah i'll go in the morning six to 12 12 in the midnight i'll close at 12 in the midnight from imagine six in the morning 12 in the midnight yeah so mm. my brother was like Agi, if you have money bring 12, money 12 in the mid in a mid, mid yes. midnight yeah 12 in the midnight wow my yeah, goodness 12 the, yeah 12 in the midnight So um, I'll I'll be do, doing that. So uh, it, it came the, the the idea to do the granos cake business was an idea by my brother, my, the brother that um I, I come that um come after me. Yeah. So he told me mm, to go mm, and mm, get that mm, money. Mm. So I, I I had money. I had that then time I, I had a small amount of money that I was saving. So I went to the bank and collected it and I started the granite cakes business with it. Because at first I used to buy the Olonka Olonka. That's what they call it, Olonka. And it wasn't helping. Mm -hmm. So I, I I went to the bank again and I told them to give me a loan. Actually, when I went there, the one who was to guarantee for me. He told me that when he looks at my appearance and uh, what I'm saying there, yeah, he he wouldn't have given me the money. But because I told him that I can pay the money, that reassured him that I will be able to pay the money. So he wow. he gave me the money. Yes, yes, to to come and start with the business. Yes, then I started the business with the money. Yeah. So, so, so let me understand something here. Doing your, uh, doing the bus conducting that you've been doing for a very longer period, where you are not even getting the wages that you're supposed to be given, you still, I mean, uh, take advantage, and then you are you are saving money towards this kind of business, or maybe something that may happen to you in the future. Yes, and I actually, I. I I'm the one still paying my school fees at that time too. I was paying my school fees doing a better time myself. Ah, are, are you serious about what you are talking about? Yes. Yes. Hey. Yes. I, I, I'm the one paying my school fees. So paying your school fees, saving at the bank. My goodness. This this yeah, is shocking. And, yeah, and village boys, one thing that I will tell you that um in, in life is not about you getting a bigger income to save mm, but some mm, people mm, think mm, that mm. they can only save when they have bigger income even even when you are when you collect 20 cities a day try to even save 10 cities and use the 10 cities because always i always tell myself that the future holds substance more than the present the future holds more substance more than the present you yes. you are just an amazing amazing young lady and i love your energy i love your vibe you know i'm loving everything if it, <laughs> when i listening to your story like this it actually warms my heart and i'm loving it i mean my audience are also going to love it as well yeah this is amazing this is so amazing yeah. so let's let's uh, i mean uh, what do you call it backdrop in the in a in a story that you shared with us when you were doing when you were doing the bus conducting and here and you know here and there are you are you stigmatized by your peers your i mean because we we all know that uh, they this kind of business like damn bus conducting you know, it's mainly dominated by the males and so as a lady who is also trying to go into it where there's so much domination by the males uh, you know did you did you feel any kind of you know any 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 um how will i even put it did you are you stigmatized during that time 
Okay, uh, I will say me f- forget about the stigmatization. Is I I don't look mm. at the stigmatization. I look at the end results. At the end, like uh, what I will get. At the end, nobody will come to me and tell me that oh, Agi came to me begging. I never begged for anybody, but I used my own energy to do it, to do it. And wow. um, I I have this motivation that somebody helping you is different from you helping yourself. Wow, this is lovely. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that great thing, that story with us. So now let's move on because mainly we are here to talk about your business and how we can, uh, you know, how we can all come together to support you to have scaled the business because we want it to go, to, you know, to a wider audience. I mean, you are doing a very fantastic job and giving us a very great taste in Katkit. Yes, and so um, we, you know, what are some of the challenges that you are facing in this business you do in Katkit? What are some of the challenges? Okay, so far the challenges are at first the because the the font wasn't there much for the packaging and those things. There was a um, challenge, mm. and so, and sometimes to because um, um, there is uh, like um, the CD and the dollar and the safer does not tell you there is increase. There has been increasing increase in prices of granules, sugar, charcoal, mm. and those things. So. It sometimes makes working very hard because sometimes what you bought it as when I started the um granite cake business, we used to buy the granites at the cost of 1400, but now the bag of granite is now 2000 Ghana cities. So you can imagine because mm. so whenever, yes, whenever you are going to um, buy the granite, it's either you add more, 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 more to it. And at first, for sugar, a bag of sugar was um, 190 cities. 190 cities. Mm. But now, a bag of sugar is 700. 700. Oh, so you can, yes, that, a bag of sugar. That is so much increment. Have, have you seen? So, the, the prices, and sometimes, as a business person, if you are doing business and you don't think about saving, saving what you get, like you don't finish up what you are selling. Maybe you buy a bag of granules at a cost of 2000 and you're like, oh, um, that's what I have, I, I have gathered and I'm spending it. At the end, you will be done and you won't get anything. So the, the only thing that mm-hmm. I always do is that when I saw the granos cakes, I put, I put, I saved the money. I I saved the money. So when, when I'm done with the everything, I was like, oh, maybe I need something to buy. Then I buy what I want. But using the genuinely or originated money to buy something, it's, it, it's rather pushes you down. Mm. Yeah. Wow. This, this is, this is uh, a survival, you know, um, challenge if you are yes. not that uh, open-minded and uh, you know knowledgeable and tough in mind you have issues with the, with yes. business but yes. um, i love i love i love your resilience and as to how you are you know you still hold on to it and ag- again do you have suppliers uh, do you have suppliers for maybe the granites and other stuff that you use for the business for for making cat kit okay the granites yeah. um I'm being supplied um, with the granite by a man at Alaba. Yes, mm. he he surprised uh, he supplies me with the granite from Alaba. So I, I buy the granite at Alaba and the sugar I buy it at a Joso market, and I have a car that they sell charcoal, and I buy I buy them from I buy it from them. Yeah. Hmm. So what 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 is the price of of the granite? And is it is it subsidized? As in maybe when you compare it to the price the price that you have to use to buy it at the market, is it is it okay? Is, does it worth it? Like, oh, the, 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 as I, I as I have said, 
it, 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 it's mm. Ghana that we are in Ghana, and you know, day in day out, there is prices, there is increment in prices here and there. So if you are a business person, you always have to put it in mind that um, prices can increase at any time. You put it in mind that prices can increase at any time. Yeah. So the the mm. price the price of granite at January at January the price of granite was thousand four four hundred. But as we speak today, today is August, right? We are in August, and yeah, the price of first. yeah, the you can get a bag of granite at thousand eight hundred or two thousand. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I I see I see, okay. So we're moving on with the uh, next next question to unravel some some things. Some um, uh, whether you have future aspirations like future goals for this business. So are you are you going to expand it and how is it going to happen? If you can tell us. Okay. Um. I I always say that the future is great, and you you have to be pre prepared for everything because when we we started this business i told my brother that one of these days or well, a mm. day will come that i will also sell my granite cakes the same way that milo is popular yes milo the same way milo is popular that there, there will be a day wow. that my granite mm. cake will also be popular and I, i'm hoping and i'm praying that um very soon or um, in the future there will be a granite cake factory here where we'll be importing and exporting granite cakes yes from the length and breadth of africa to europe to usa yes to so that people will know that um in fact ghana we also have something and mm. if we remain here it will help yes yes so we, we we have the resource and what i would say is that um what we have to do is the adding of value value is what makes everything unique so the value is the problem that's what i have seen the mm -hmm. the things are there but the value adding of value is the problem adding of value is the problem wow this is amazing i love that and one one thing i've seen that nana t shared is uh, about you uh what do you call it about um passion air you know partnering with you to use your cat kit as a as a as, as a food that will be uh, what do you call it um self on the flight i don't know how that is actually going now is there something like that okay um as i say we, we are working on it we are working on it and and uh, groundly because i i love to work things out in the grounds so when it comes up people will be like wow 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 yes okay so okay, okay. We, we are working on it we'll be on a standby oh yeah mm, just we'll be on a standby yeah just be on a standby <laughs> we are working on things yeah, we, can, we, we can't we can't wait to see that happen because uh, we yeah. we we have to push ghanaian businesses and celebrate africa in a very fantastic way Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Now you are a lady in a in in a business. You know, talking about. I mean, where uh, we find us. Let me let me restructure the sentence. We find ourselves in a in a very tight economy where things are very pretty difficult, and you happen to be a lady. You know, pushing beyond your limits and trying your possible best by putting smiles on your face and also imparting. A lot of lies out there, and then giving taste to a lot of Ghanaians. Um, what advice do you have for your fellow ladies? I mean, you will advise all of us too, but the ladies in general, you know, we just want to hear something from you. Okay, to my fellow women uh, out there, and to the guys as well. Whatever, I, what I will say is that in everything that you do like give it out with your best do it with your best mm -hmm. just do it because me um all my life nobody in chi we have something called bakery yes bakery means mm -hmm. like 
giving money to support somebody to do business and business. Nobody have supported me in doing that. But always, I, I always push myself, look for my capital to do my business. I don't look up to anybody wow. for help in any way i just is between me and my god so because he was the one that i greeted him when i was coming to the world so when i have a problem i just go to my maker and it's not easy it won't be easy at first in the 90s they were saying that mm. the world is hard in 21st century too they are saying the world is hard so when would the world cry be easy for everybody? Meaning the, the world is growing and every step on the way means the world will be getting harder, harder, harder. So it's up to you to position your mind. Tell yourself that you can. Tell, always tell yourself that you can. And I love the word focus and consistency. When you are focused, you will never be deviated. Wow. And when you are consistent too, you never allow what people say. Was there were times my mates were laughing at me. They were laughing at me. I was whilst they are studying, I will be selling my garnet cakes from dorm to dorm, from hall to hall, from classroom oh. to classroom. Yes, and they were laughing at me. Even um, the the name Nkati Cake Rap. They that's the name they call me at school most of them don't know even in school majority don't know that i'm called agnes they call me in katike kira mm -hmm. yeah, in ghana whatever you saw that's what people know you of that's so what you are selling, it with. yeah because if you are selling water they call you in Sura. so i'm selling katike so they call me in katike kira yes and i just love the name wow, wow. Uh, that's my signature yeah yeah i think i think it's the best it's actually builds the brand and it gives you that uniqueness so it's it's yeah, good that they call you in cat kit yeah they are they are your real influences yes and it, it's now it's um um I, I have a certificate on the business yeah so in cat Kra enterprise that's the name of my enterprise in cat Kra enterprise amazing i will i you know i came to Ashanti region, Kumasi Tech, KNUSC for the first time, I was impressed by the environment, you know, the environment. And I uh, would love to also come around your where your business is and also taste your okay. cat cake. My, 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 my office it. is very, very small. It's a, it's, it's a small place, but I, I don't look at the smallness. I, use, I, I, I look at what people love, what I can do mm. for them to make it tasty and you know that i i go to my office exactly six in the morning then i'm there six o'clock in the morning i'm at my office that is that is a good work ethics yes, and there's this this man who has who always talk about you know work ethics yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. stressed on the fact that Ghanaians we most majority of Ghanaians are now, you know, time conscious and they don't have good ethics. They don't have, you know, show up at their workplaces early. But as you are saying that you show up so much, like early as possible to also serve your yeah. customers, the good work ethics. And it is, I believe yeah. it's the way forward to make yeah. it to the next stage of your business. Yes. Yeah. But Agnes, do, do you know, do you, has anyone told you that you are a very wonderful, great woman, inspirational woman? Oh, okay. Um, I have a friend. Her name is Anita. Anita Redu. Um, she is a pastor's wife. And as for her, mm. um, uh, oh, oh, when at first I, I used to be collecting twenty cities to school. My 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 brother would give me twenty cities, and when he gives me the twenty cities, it'll be like past year and um, go to KJTR. Then when you reach Kelletia, you work at um, St. Louis Park, then you go to West Coast. But West Coast and St. Louis, we are closer. So when I go mm. to school and when I'm sitting down quietly, um, my friend will come and she will be like, Agi, you are very great. Agi, you are very great. Wow. And the, 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 <laughs> the way and manner I'll look at her, I'll be like, whoa. You know that I, I I came to school with only twenty cities. That same twenty cities, <laughs> what a pamphlet will it buy? 
That's uh, what Wallet by you are telling me. I'm a great you are woman. great. <laughs> yeah, so that's what my friend has been always been telling. Even in my hardest time, she was telling me, Agi, you are great. Agi, you are great. Even when whenever we wake up in the morning, whenever she sees mm. me, she tells mm. me, Agi, you're a great woman. Agi, you're a great woman. Agi, you're a great she, woman. She can, she can, mm, she can obviously see the greatness in you. So it's yes. just, I mean, this is... I mean, you you are such a great woman. Yes. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Yeah, you are such. A, I I love I love the vibe. You know, those of us coming from the villages and uh, I mean the struggles that we went through and we're sharing this. You know, it it it's like ah, uh, then meaning I didn't go through anything <laughs> because oh. having that kind of uh, you know vim, having that kind of um energy, the spirit of uh, pursuing your career. I mean by regardless of the situation or the circumstances you find yourself in, you still keep up with this kind of energies. It's something that is lovely. So I truly appreciate it. And this one coming from the, you know, the opposite gender. I mean, it's, it's really, really amazing. I mean, Thank our you. guests Thank are going you. to enjoy this episode uh, to the highest degree because you are sharing so much insights and uh, your story is wonderful. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Okay, so we, we want to have more time with you here. So let's let's progress with the are you are tired? No, no, if no. You are tired, I'm, you can I'm take not tired. Water, I, I, continue. No, I actually today I'm going to make fine toffee. I have added fine toffee to the cut cake business. Yeah, so and um, okay, tell uh, us what, about the fine toffee. Okay, the 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 fine toffee I I watch it on um TikTok. TikTok on TikTok, so I was there. I was like, you, no. Then you, you watch, you, you watch the fine toffee on TikTok. Yes, I watch it on TikTok. So, so it, and, it means that you don't. Want, no, no, TikTok is for 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 learning. Like it's a learning platform where you can do stuff, right? Yes, yeah. It's for every. <laughs> it's for everybody. So I learned the uh, fine toffee on TikTok. Yes, the, then I was there and. One of my uh, secondary school mm. teacher, teacher, was like, I, mm. I, then I, I will sponsor you to do the fine of it. And I was there and one um, doctor, um, he, his name is David, David uh, Abrakwa. He is he's currently a student at KNUSD doing his master's. And I was there and he dashed me 50 cities. So I forgot about what my my teacher Kra told me that I should enter the science of a business. Then when he mm. he gave me the 50 CDs, I was like, what can I do with this 50 CDs? Kra? So I was like, no, the 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 fine toffee business is there. So I went to the um, shop and bought the fine toffee, the the condensed can, then I bought the mm. bowl for the um, fine toffee. Then I started the fine toffee business. So I, I have been doing it for um three weeks now. Three weeks now. At first mm. I used to do so one at first I used to do one mm. bottle. I used to do one can, one can of the condensed milk. But now I have okay. added one okay. to it, making it two. And people have been demanding it, demanding it. Yeah. Wow, this this is lovely. But is it profitable? Mm. Oh yeah, it's it's mm. it's it's okay. Yes, it's it's okay. It's okay. Amazing, amazing. I love I love that. So now currently you are doing fine toffee and cut cake. Two things. Yes, please. Are there yes, two please. things or you have more, more than the two? Yeah, and I, I also motivate. <laughs> yeah. You also motivate. Yeah, yeah. so it's you see, th these are some of the things you Mm, these are some of the things we want to hear. A story coming from a real, a real time. I mean, this one we call it real time because it is happening in reality. And so, yeah. it, you being a motivate, uh, motivational speaker, I mean, to motivate others to also strive harder. I think it's a perfect one. All right, it's a perfect combo yeah. for everyone out there. Yeah. Because if you have not passed through the struggles, the you know the hard times, and you are trying to motivate others, it's like you are just sugarcoating it we want it from a point yeah. uh, from from someone who has gone through the head you know the hurdles and then the shambles in life and when such person is saying it will you know say it in the 
in a, in a way that it it will align and it will also push and then um, you know push others who are also going through those tough times. Yeah. Mm. I I I truly appreciate your time so much, Agnes, and uh, you are such a wonderful person. God bless Thank you so you. much. I wish you the very Amen. best. I wish you the very best. And finally, we'll be wrapping up uh, pretty shortly. So. Uh, if you have anything to say about your business, your handles, where we can find you, anything at all you want to share with us, uh, the platform okay. is yours. You can go ahead. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so on TikTok, I'm there. Facebook, I'm there. And uh, on on TikTok, my name is Nkatike Kura. Nkatike Kura. On TikTok, that's my name, the Nkatike Kura. And on um, mm. Facebook, Yabua Boima Agnes. Yabua Boima Agnes. Yes, so you can follow me on TikTok or Agnes. on Facebook. Yes. Mm. Yeah, and what, and one what, thing what, we've what, not even talked about, we should we should, we should have to. Mm. What? Please, I didn't get you all. Uh, well, I'm saying that one thing we've not talked about is the nation is the delivery. Do you do okay. delivery? We want to understand delivery. Yeah, we, 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 delivery I, I of your do, product. Yeah. Yes, I do delivery. Uh, the, the 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 last time I did was on Monday. The last delivery that I did it was from um, Kumasi to Accra. Yes, I, 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 I have been doing deliveries as well from Ghana to USA, Canada, Amazing. and Italy, Germany. Mm. I've been doing mm. deliveries there. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. So now, what, what, you know, finally, what do you do you have to tell Nana T? Okay, um, what I would tell Nanati is human beings, our uh, God comes in human form. Because the, 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 the manner that um, God shared for the Israelites, now the manner is no more there anymore. The manner is being picked from people who are extraordinary, and God will use them to bless others. And... Uh, what I will tell people is that God mm. blesses effort. God blesses effort. And supposedly, if I, I was to mm. be in my room sleeping, would Nanati have met me at tech? Yes. So God blesses Never. effort. And yes. Mm. And I thank God for using Nanati to bless me. God richly bless him. And um, I know he he is already born great, so God should move him from strength to strength. God bless him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, yeah. amazing. Agnes, thank you so much for your time that you've taken thank out you of your busy schedule to join this live section, as well as thank by you. sharing your insightful and then your wonderful story with my audience village boy we are so grateful we are so so yeah, grateful okay. yes we are so grateful so if you don't have any final words then we can allow you to go now okay my my final words will be brief what i would tell people young Ghanaians <laughs> is now now um all right, so thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, I truly appreciate you for joining this live section. It has been a wonderful one, and I, I trust that you enjoyed this whole section. And uh, she is Agnes Yabwa. Uh, she is the Inkatke Kura at Tech Junction, Kumasi in Ashanti region, Ghana here, West Africa. And so kindly subscribe to the channel and be part of us 24-7. And, you know, I, I, I thank you all. Peace out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>